All right, all right, I just woke up and today is gonna be really special. I'm gonna take you through a day in the life of my Warrior Shredding program. And this is the program that I use when I wanna get really lean and chiseled, have that perfect muscle definition. So a lot of my clients, they've used this program to go from skinny fat to really lean, to go from soft and bulky, to have that really hard chiseled look that you see on the movie screens. So today we're doing the DEXA scan, which is the most accurate way to measure your body fat and your muscle mass. So it's be really cool to find out what is my body fat at? We're gonna hit a workout with one of the guys following my program and show you what it takes to actually put muscle on in the right places and build and sculpt the physique that you want. And finally, I'm gonna show you my full day of eating, how many calories I eat, how much protein I eat, and the exact foods and meals I eat to promote a leaner body. So let's get into it. So the first strategy we're using in the Warrior Shredding Program is actually intermittent fasting. And intermittent fasting is amazing at increasing fat burning, boosting growth hormone, and really making getting lean much more enjoyable and effortless. And what I found for myself was that the dieting was the hardest part, you know? I loved hitting the gym, but having to keep my calories where they needed to be to lean down, I was just counting down the days and I was eating small little meals and every fourth day I'd just give in. And what I found was that when you start doing fasting, you can eat big, enjoyable meals and feel satisfied. It makes things easier. I have a lot of international DJs doing this because they can fast and you know work on music all day long, eat a couple big meals, then go perform. Um, so this stuff is the most versatile and universal way to get in shape. How are you, man? Good, Good to, to see, see you. you. So we got Bridger here. He's on the program and he's crazy lean. So we're gonna hit a workout with this guy and get the body fat tested. So let's go. All right, so we're on the way to get my DEXA scan results. Now, here's the thing. Very few trainers and fitness coaches will ever share their results with you because this is one of the most accurate tests known to man. You can't cheat it. You can fluff out your photos, do Photoshop, do different angles and lighting tricks but you can't cheat the DEXA scan. To really be you know, below 10% on a DEXA is a very tall order. And that's something that I've been able to achieve um, with following my program. And really the cool thing is with my program, I've actually been able to lose fat and gain muscle. And that's very, very hard to do. A lot of people, when they do their DEXAs and they finish their diet, they found out they lost muscle and so they never have that chiseled look. So if you really want to look your best, you need to learn how to lean down and actually keep the muscle or even gain the muscle. And my clients have been able to lose fat and actually put on some muscle with the fasting, the right training, the right nutrition. It allows you to recomp your body. So we're teaching your body how to lose the fat and gain the muscle. So I finished my test and we're about to get the results to find out what my body fat is at and how my results compared to my last test, which was like six months ago. So, all right, nice. And I'm looking at 6.6% body fat. You know, I've, my first test was in 2015. So three years, I've been staying around six to 8% using the strategies for my warrior shredding program. So this shows you that with the strategies that I'm about to teach you, you can actually get really, really lean and enjoy life and stay at a low body fat year round. And a lot of people think this isn't possible. A lot of people kill themselves to try and get close to 6%. I'm doing this while enjoying the process and helping thousands of other people do it too, including my man, Bridger. All right, so we got your results and you're actually 9.1%. So you're single digit body fat, you're low, you're under 10%. So congrats, man. Thank you're you. You're killing it on the program. Now, there might be a little room to work with if you wanna get down to 7%, mm -hmm. um, but I think, frankly, you look amazing. This is like proof of the pudding. If you've been following my stuff, you can get really lean on this program and maintain it with ease and put on muscle and really live the lifestyle you want. So a lot of people say it's unrealistic to maintain under 10% body fat, but Bridger's done it, I've done it, and this is proof of the pudding. Now, we're gonna show you what we do in the gym. So we're only doing three workouts per week on this program. Because we're training really intensely and we're really keeping our calories a bit lower, we gotta optimize our recovery. And so three workouts per week with maximum intensity works the best.
All right, so I just hit my heavy set, hit 300 pounds for four. I'm gonna do two more sets lighter and get more reps in. This is the most productive way to train. You do your heaviest set first while you're fresh, try and get that PR to build as much muscle as possible, and then you go lighter. If you go do the opposite, go light first, you're weak for that heavy set, so you can't go as heavy. So this style of training is the best. A heavy set for four to six, then you go for a bit more reps, six to eight, and finish off with eight to 10. So Drew's hitting his uh, second set for six to eight. He's got 185 on. Now one of the biggest problems that 90% of people in the gym make to kill the results is they're not tracking their workouts. They don't record how much weight they did, how many reps. And when they go in the gym, they half-ass it. They don't have anything on the line. When we go in the gym, we're trying to add that one rep. That is my feedback mechanism to see if my training works. If I'm not getting stronger, my training doesn't work. And so it took me years to develop the workouts that actually have the perfect amount of intensity, volume, frequency to get stronger. So on our, after a heavy set, we're always dropping the weight about 10 to 15%. So if you get 200 pounds, you're gonna go down about 20 pounds, etc. And that's the perfect amount of weight to drop to get more reps and to get the perfect amount of volume. So the weighted chin up, is one of the best exercises you can do to build your physique. It builds really wide lats and a big, thick, detailed upper back and arms. So very few people will do the weighted chin-ups because they're so challenging, but it's one of the best keys in my program. And the stronger you get on the weighted chin-ups, as you build up to 50 pounds, 80 pounds, 100 pounds, your physique will transform. And there's very few people that can do 100 pound chin-ups because you have to be very lean and strong. There's a lot of people that are strong and bulky, a lot of people that are lean and weak, very few people are that are lean, strong, and muscular, and that's the key, being lean and strong. And this is the intensity that you need to build muscle. You have to really push the envelope for what you're capable. If you're doing your sets and it feels like medium effort, you're not triggering any muscle growth. It's gotta feel a little bit tough. You gotta really push and fight and stretch your limits, and that's what creates muscle growth. So we just finished our workout. I'm feeling amazing. We smashed it in my Warrior Shredding program. There's three phases, each eight weeks long. So you keep changing things every two months to keep your body changing. Now it's time to hit our calories. So what's the key to getting really lean? From the research we know, all it comes down to is eating at a calorie deficit. You must consume less calories than your body burns to tap into body fat, but you don't wanna to eat too little. You don't wanna to go too low in calories or too low in carbs because then it's harder to maintain muscle, maintain your hormonal levels, your metabolism. When you start to realize that fat loss is all about eating at a calorie deficit, all it comes down to is finding the most enjoyable way to do so. And that means eating you know, quite a bit of protein to keep you full. That means having the right amount of carbs so you feel satisfied. If you go too low in carbs, you don't feel satisfied. And having the perfect amount of fat to keep you full, because if you cut out fat, you're always really hungry. And also eating the foods that you like, because if you get to eat the foods you like, you'll be more satisfied. You'll be able to look forward to your diet, not hate it. So a lot of people fail because they eat a, a diet they don't even enjoy. They eat foods they don't even like and you can actually eat the foods you love while hitting your calories, your proteins, your fats, and carbs. There, Cairo's on the warrior diet too. This is my first meal, I had a big steak, some broccoli, and now all these potatoes. So this is about 1,400 calories. Um, I had a piece of fruit, so about 1,500. Um, so I'll have about 700 calories left, but this is delicious. After I eat this, I'll be so full. So, I had a massive meal about, you know, with the apple, probably about 1,500 calories. Um, and for my last meal, um, it's, it's getting later now, I'm gonna actually have a chocolate almond bar, which has 600 calories. And because I'm in a calorie deficit, I'm gonna get leaner. And, and actually, when I've gotten my leanest, historically, it's been mostly eating, you know, some fruit, like apples, steak, potatoes, and chocolate. Like, this is the diet that keeps me satisfied, that makes me feel like a warrior. Um, and I actually find that, you know, having a chocolate bar versus making another meal, if I make another meal, I'm just gonna wanna eat like a thousand calories, but the chocolate keeps me satisfied at about 600. So it might sound crazy, but trust me, this works. If you'd rather have an omelet with some fruit or an omelet with some English muffins, you can do that for your second meal. But for me, I stay satisfied. I have an easier time hitting my calories with 600 uh, with a chocolate bar. So 
If you're ready, if this seems like it fits you, if this seems like this is the right program for you, then you hit the link around this video and you join my Warrior Shredding program. I'm gonna really help you get leaner. We have a Facebook group to keep you accountable, to answer your questions. You'll see people, hundreds of people just getting leaner by the day. So I can't wait to see you inside and I'll talk to you soon.